Hi, my name is Prashant and I'm 46 year old and have I had ankylosing spondylitis for now 25 years. I just made a video on a patient's perspective of what is ankylosing spondylitis, how it impacts us and what are the day-to-day -day struggles that we have and how we can actually diagnose ankylosing spondylitis in the early stages when it is quite difficult to manage. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about what are the five best ways in which we can, you know, really combat ankylosing spondylitis, really fight ankylosing spondylitis on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you really like it. So let's come to the good part. So the five best ways is first one, take good medication. So you need to consult the right rheumatologist. The rheumatologist should be able to understand your problem. He should know what's going on in, in your body. He should be well-versed with the medication. So progression from D NSAIDs, to DMARDs, to biologics. Okay, that's the progression of the, of the medication. So he should be very well aware of this. So find a rheumatologist who can really, really help you with your medication and do not ignore your medication. Now, second part is exercise. Exercise, I just don't mean any exercise. So exercise for your pain relief. So go for Egoscue. Egoscue is a, is a way of reducing the loading in your joints and thereby which reduces the pain in your joints. Okay, because our joints, you know, start to fuse. So it increases the load on each of these joints. So Egoscue puts the whole body in balance and these are simple postural exercises that you should be doing. Okay, so search for an Egoscue specialist. Second is activity. So you should be active in your home. Okay, you should not sit for a very long time or stand for a very long time. So be active in your home, uh, be agile, okay, move around, you should learn to uh, learn to walk a lot, uh, run a lot, and stay active as much as possible. So the more you are active, the more your joints will be working out. So motion is the lotion here. Okay, motion is the lotion here. The third aspect is non-inflammatory diet. So you should eat greens. Uh, you should avoid anything which comes in a box. Okay, don't have any artificial food. Don't have food from outside. Take care of your diet have lots of fruits, have lots of greens, and that should keep your uh, body also, you know, fed with the nice minerals and vitamins which are needed to fight an autoimmune condition like, you know, ankylosing spondylitis. The fourth important aspect is the mindset. Okay, it's very important to stay positive, stay jovial, and stay nice. I know it's very difficult when I say this, because you're constantly in pain, then how can I stay positive? But so devise ways with which you can use your good days. Understand how you can be pain-free, okay? So have a good messier and, you know, take rest, take those off days, enjoy your off days, and also uh, move a lot, enjoy exercises, change your lifestyle so that you start to enjoy exercises a lot. So this is very, very crucial, you know, to have a good mindset. Okay, stay positive, look for positive things, spend time with people whom you really love. So change your proximity and change your thought process with your disease, change the equation with your disease, accept it and move on. So your mindset plays a very, very crucial role when you are having a chronic disease. And the fifth one, which nobody told me when I was young is meditation. It's very, very crucial that you start doing meditation at the right age so that you are able to fight the inflammation markers. I can't stress this enough because meditation really brings down the stress levels in your body. And stress is a huge trigger to chronic ailments. Your bad days are mostly, mostly those days when you are highly stressed. So if you have um, a balanced approach towards life, if you meditate, uh, and if you are a good meditator, as you, as you, as you progress in your meditation, then you are able to calm your mind even in the most tense situations. So that, that is a skill that should be learned at a very young age and it's highly, highly beneficial for somebody having a chronic disease. So the, let me recap. So the five things that you should be uh, looking forward to is one is your medication, take care of your medication. Second is exercise, do egoscue. Third is, you know, do the activity at home. Don't stay, not, don't stay inactive at home. So always be on a constant activity, don't, but at the same time, don't stand for too long. So juggle between standing and sitting entire day. You take care of your diet. Don't eat anything from in the box, okay, which comes from the box, pizzas, pastries, don't have all these things. Go for the greens 
and go for your veggies and go for your nice fresh juices that you make at your home. Okay, fourth is your fifth is your mindset. Okay, so have a powerful mindset, have an empowering mindset, have a positive mindset. And yes, of course, the last one is meditation. So I hope this video really gives you an understanding of what it is to have encouraging spawn letters and what is the way to lead a powerful life having, having this debilitating disease. So if you really like the information shared in this video, then please subscribe to our channel. And yes, live powerfully, live joyfully, and see you soon in the very next video.